greetings all of you guys out there and um we are coming to you from kingman's wash and i will probably do a short little video about this place but today i want to talk about our way of keeping food primarily why we used a cooler for so long and then um currently our refrigerator system now when we first moved here i only had about 10 days to buy the van and um get everything ready before marvy came and so i dropped a lot of money on um on a yeti cooler a 65 quart because there's two of us and um it was 114 degrees and uh i just thought you know we, we need a lot of a lot of ice and so we used that cooler for over a year and a half almost two years and uh, it's been great it's been a good cooler um one of the nagging things again about having this cooler was that it was large and I had to put ice in it all the time and the ice is very expensive and the food waste is expensive and the inconvenience is a hassle. Now, before I go any further and some of you subscribers, I love you all, but uh, some of you swear by having coolers and that is great. Uh, some of you say you spend 50 cents or a dollar for a 10 pound bag and it lasts for a week or two that's great for us never happened you know the average price or the lowest price was about two bucks a uh, bag and we always needed like two or three bags of ice uh, for us and the problem with the cooler is that you know we spend anywhere from 20 to 40 dollars a month or a week a week no a month in um ice and so we have that loss so you put that over almost two years and that that's quite a bit of money um also it doesn't last for us uh a week or 10 days especially in the middle of summer in the middle of summer we may have to go three bags and we can go out for about five maybe six days and then we have to pack up everything and come into town to get ice or leave marvy why i do an emergency run and so there's the added cost of gasoline and the cost of that um the ice itself not to mention you also have food waste uh there's a lot of people and i and again there's gonna be some of you who say i've never wasted any food i know how to pack it and uh, it's saving me money and i'm not i'm not making fun of you i actually think that's wonderful but for us never happened there's always that time when that chicken leaked a little bit you got bloody water and then you've got lettuce in there and it gets a little bit yucky and you have to throw things away or you've gone past the four or five days and you're trying to eat up all of the meats or produce before it rots because it's at room temperature which can be you know 85 90 degrees or higher so for us it made more sense to start thinking about a refrigerator uh, so I started doing a little research and I know like Bob Wells just has a video out talking about you know cheaper is better just go ahead and spend 250 or 280 dollars and then throw it away if it breaks that's great what happens if it breaks within the first 12 months or 18 months yeah we'll just go out and buy another one well now you're at about 500 bucks um and of these lower end refrigerators for us uh they draw too much power they don't have a good enough warranty um and yet i also didn't want to get the dometic or the thousand dollar refrigerators either so we looked around and we found a company called ice co and there are a lot of reviews on them and you and i'm not going to go into the specifications of ours uh, mainly because they're just specs there's a lot of people that are given these and discounts and they go over and they just point out these things and show these tests and everything it's all academic to me it works it does a great job it's got a five-year warranty on the compressor and uh, it's got the famous uh, uh, compressor in it that's very reputable you can read about it just go to ice co they've got different sizes different shapes we were going to get one that functions not only as a refrigerator and then can be turned down to be a freezer uh, but it also is a cooler so you could put ice in we decided we don't really need a cooler so we denied, decided not to do that so what did we get we got the ice co uh, i think it's a 45 um and it's uh it's great it holds 47 quarts 
of, of product and you can either function it goes all the way down to zero and then it can go all the way up um, to whatever but uh, it's 50 I think so if you want you can use it just as a freezer and some people will put just their meats and fish and freezable items in there and also water to freeze for ice and they have a small cooler and they can put the ice in and then have their lettuce and more perishable things stay cool there that's a great idea if you have the space we didn't need that we just wanted it as a refrigerator we didn't want a big what they call dual zone which is you know half freezer half um, refrigerator we're happy with just things being really really cold um, so why did we get that well if you go back to what I've just spoke about so much savings on ice and food waste and it's more convenient because we don't have to go back into town it draws such little power that our um, Blue Eddy uh, EB 150 has 1,500 watt hours of uh, power. So this may draw 40 watts uh, or 30 watts every couple hours it'll turn on. So the point is it's going to allow us to stay in one place indefinitely as long as we have food and water and propane for our stove. Um, we're really, really good. So I think the question is, why did we get something smaller if we were using a 65 quart? why would we get a 47 quart and the reason is when you buy ice this ice itself one 10 pound bag of ice takes anywhere it's it takes up like 12 quarts of space and you get two bags you know 24 quarts you take that's from 65 and basically we've got the same space as we did in the 65 without all the leaking and the water saturating and getting everything soaking wet, running out, having to drain it, clean it, spoilage, all of that stuff. So same space. Now, when we had to go three bags of ice because we wanted to go out a little bit longer, um, we even had less space for food. So for us, it just made sense. They're not high end, $1,000, and they're not $250. They're about in the middle. I think they're $550 for the model that we have. We sold our um, Yeti and made a good good amount of money on it because Yetis hold their value. So, and uh, so we didn't really pay that much for this, about the price that you would buy one of the cheaper ones. So it's a good investment. And with that, I think it'll pay for itself in the first 10 months because just because we're gonna be saving so much money on ice. One of the other things, if you're gonna buy ice, you wanna think about when we were doing the Yeti is that ice, has a density factor which means it's going to last longer if it's frozen at a colder temperature there's more uh, density it's 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 colder um, uh, zero is the best for ice you know it rock solid hard lasts a long time to frost very slowly unfortunately when you go to Walmart's and things places like that those ice refrigerators that you open up and you buy the ice at they hover around 18 degrees 19 degrees and that doesn't take into consideration you know with the doors opening and other people using them in that temp ambient temperature kind of goes up a little bit so the ice that you buy 90 percent of the time is a very soft ice less dense and it melts really quickly so um the best place I've ever purchased ice, believe it or not, is in Ehrenberg in Arizona, right across from Blythe, California. And they have a little laundry mat uh, service and small store and stuff. And then there they have these deep uh, freezers and you can buy blocks of ice and those are sitting at zero. And those things will last an incredible amount of time. So if you want to go with one of those um, coolers, Think about getting block ice whenever possible. And if not, try to find a place that, that really deep freezes their ice. It's just going to help you with that. But for us, man, I tell you what, we're so excited about having a refrigerator. Uh, it fits into our electrical uh, profile really well. And uh, so far, it's great. I'll do another uh, video on the IceCo 47 uh, quart. Uh, freezer uh, maybe we'll revisit this in six months or something if as part of another video just to give you an update on it but right now we're completely thrilled with it that's it I just want to do a quick product review um, you know write your comments all of that stuff you know wherever that little thing is showing up and then um, 
if you've bought a refrigerator or you've you decide to go back to a cooler some of you have already made comments but uh on a on a you on a facebook but uh tell me what your experiences are i'd like to hear those okay until uh, next video we'll see you guys down the road